Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. So I want to do a quick little video getting a little bit more in-depth into earth bag building. And this is something we touched on in a video a few videos back, and there's been a lot of people interested in this. And this is, in fact, something that I really am anticipating doing myself. I do feel that if you're allowed to build this as far as zoning laws, this is the perfect structure as far as safety, as given the most safety, the most durability, the most cost efficient. Uh, it just has so many benefits to it um, compared to other ways and methods of building. Just so many different possibilities with it. So this particular site is the mudhome.com and it has a little PDF that you could open up as a free 20 page illustrated PDF on how this particular person built their house. So this is a good good place to, to go and to start and I got other links for you that all be included in the video. So this one they start out by saying my house took six weeks to build and cost about five grand. Oh my god that's pretty pretty nice right? Nearly all the money went in on labor, the roof rafters, and my beautiful juniper floorboards. I didn't uh, even know it, what a joist was before I started the project, so if I can do it, anybody can. You don't need prior knowledge, you can learn the skills, but you do need determination and some decent friends who won't go amiss either. Amazing. So it's really, it's simple. I mean, this particular structure is beautiful, and I've seen so many artistic, beautiful structures that have been built, and it's amazing, really. So, first one, you gotta decide is it for you? And design, and the design options are just simply unlimited. And let's just take a look at some of these designs. I mean, incredible what you can do with it. The dome is the strongest structure you could have. And there are so many benefits to building something along these lines. And, and these things were actually started uh, in modern times in earthquake zones as being basically earthquake proof. So we know what we're heading into here with the pole shift, with the grand solar minimum, with all the all the rays that are coming in and bombarding us. We've seen the, the volcanoes going off all over the world. We've seen an increase in earthquakes. This makes perfect sense. This these structures are more flood proof, they're more fire proof, they're more earthquake proof, and they're more inexpensive. So they hit on like everything. The designs, they're totally just simply up to you. You know, what do you want to design? Do you want to design something kind of traditional and boxy? Do you want to go with something very, very simple and round? Do you want to get more elaborate? What do you want to do? It's all up to you. It's completely up to you. Sky is the limit. So many different possibilities. You could so personalize it. And these structures are going to last a long time, a very, very long time. And I remember hiking in, the, in New Mexico in the desert and then coming upon one of these structures and at first being like, wow, because it did look a lot like this one. You know, this is really cool. And uh, I mean, it was probably only maybe three or four hundred square feet and just out there in the middle of the desert and it blended in so well that you you, you almost wouldn't even noticed it you would have kind of just walked right by because it blended into the surroundings so well and I believe there was just one person uh, living out of it so it's it's just so cool there are so many possibilities you could put all sorts of built-ins in there 
or you could have nothing built in in there. It's it's up to you. Whatever you want. As you can see here, I think they're doing an outside spiral staircase going up, and so you could with, <clears throat> with these two, you could end up having a flat roof and actually growing your food up on top and having a garden up on the roof. It's so cool. There's so many different possibilities you can do with these things. So what are some of the advantages? Well, it's very inexpensive, easy to learn, and you're easy to learn how to do it and to build them. Ecological, you know, very responsible. Uh, you're using mostly earth, very versatile in building. Uh, tons of styles possible. They're very durable. Earthquake, flood, and bullet resistant. Think about it. You know, even even bullets are not going to penetrate through the walls. So, I mean, how safe is that? And of course, it's very um, insulated from the earth too. It's going to have a higher insulating effect. Uses a simple foundation. You uh, will use very little wood, steel, or concrete to build. And you know the benefits: much lower cost, thicker walls, more security elements. And in a world that's going to be doing a lot of shaking with earthquakes, especially in you know anywhere in the Ring of Fire, great idea. Uh, we have seen tons of tremendous floods, have we not? Great idea. It's going to be more flood resistant. Also, you know they're going to be more fire resistant. So any way you look at it, now you have another thing that you could do, another option is digging down into the earth. So if you're going to go ahead and get a backhoe and clear out an area and basically use the area you clear out for the walls to fill um, the bags and make the walls out of, then you could actually put your structure down deeper into the ground, which is also going to have that insulating effect and basically help cool it as well as keep it warmer. So we know when you're down, uh, you yeah, know, if you go down five or six feet, you're going to stay much, much cooler than if you're, and much warmer at the same time than if you were above ground. And then when you add the earth, the um, the insulation from the walls in, um, it's a win-win situation. And, and also just, you know, look at everything that might be occurring, you know, stronger winds than normal. This is going to be like, you know, like the uh, three little pigs here. You know, what did you make your house out of? Well, you the wind could blow really, really hard. And if you have yourself a dome shape uh, earth bag home, you're going to be pretty safe inside. You know, much, much safer than somebody that's in a wood frame home. So what makes them worse? Well, the number one thing is zoning because a lot of the uh, locales will not allow it and as we know everything is about you know taxation it's about money it's about getting licenses and permits and fees and all that you know, all the municipalities you know they all want to get their share um, but how long can these things last well they, they could last a long time they could way outlast you know a wood frame um, building for sure think about that I mean naturally insect proof you don't have to worry about termites it's another thing you don't have to worry about and again rain flood wind and fire proof much much better than a conventional house so they're sustainable building it minimizes the use of energy intensive industrial materials can create a very energy efficient building shell you hook this up with um, some solar lighting and, uh, you know, you're going to be in really good shape. You know, it, it's just, it's, it's a smart approach to use. And, okay, is it is it possible for tsunami housing? I would think that the earth bag building has a tremendous potential for areas prone to flooding or tsunamis because the wall materials themselves can be immune to moisture damage and can be reinforced to withstand greater forces. So, you know, if you go double the width on uh, the walls, then it's almost impenetrable. And as for cost, it can vary a lot depending on design, size, and many other factors. So the one that we looked at in the beginning, $5,000. Uh, this one, they built their 1,250 square foot domed home for about 35000 Still, 
pretty darn inexpensive in today's world. And, uh, you know, it's definitely something to take a look at it, for sure. There are so many possibilities with them. And this is greenhomebuilding.com. And, uh, you know, building with earth bags is both old and new. So sandbags have long been used, particularly by the military, for creating strong protective barriers or for flood control. So, I mean, they use them for flood control. You know, you know, when we're looking at all the earth changes, this just seems to make a lot of sense. Now, there's different types of bags that have been used. Burlap bags were traditionally used. Uh, they work fine, but they eventually rot. There's polypropylene bags. They have superior strength and durability as long as they're kept away from too much sunlight. And uh, for permanent housing, bags should be covered with some sort of plaster for protection. And so, resurgence of interest in earth bag building since architect Nader Khalil, Khalili of the Cal Earth Institute began experimenting with bags of adobe soil as building blocks for creating domes, vaults, and arches. He was familiar with Middle Eastern architecture and the use of adobe bricks in building these forms, so it was natural for him to imagine building in this way. The Cal Earth Institute has been training people with this particular techniques, and now the whole field has expanded considerably with further experimentation by his students and others. And um, I will leave you links for all these for sure, so you guys could check it out. You know, again, another factor, obviously, like here in Florida, you can't dig down far because all we have is water. So a little bit different situation here. Um, Again, you have to check, check, check with local zoning. That is the first thing to do. And this is um, indestructibles.com, and this is step-by-step earth bag building. And again, they, they touch on the tools needed, which is not really a lot. I mean, the only thing you're going to really be needing is uh, a massage therapist when your back is sore from doing all that packing, lifting, and, and shoveling. And uh, other than that, or, you know, a nice hot tub to soak in, uh, you really don't need a ton. It's so very affordable, very versatile, almost indestructible. Uh, This is really the perfect housing for earth changes and for where we are at now. And this is naturalbuildingblog.com. So again, I'll have all of these links for you guys. Um, this is on essential earth bag construction. It actually has house plans in there, publications, uh, bulletin boards. You know, uh, you might find people that want to go in on a project together. And of course, we always could go to Amazon. We could get ourselves some some books to read. And there are quite a few books available on this because this is something that's growing. People are catching on with this. I mean, these, these buildings are in a way the past, and yet they're the future. And, and they make sense. They just make sense in this time that we're living in. So I would definitely encourage everyone out there to go ahead and look into this even more. Um, I'm very excited about it. I can't wait uh, to get going and just find the right piece of land. And uh, it's just it's just an exciting thing. It's it's really super cool, super interesting, and I've been looking at some just amazing designs, so creative. So I will share all this with you guys. As always, if you find this interesting, please thumbs up, subscribe, uh, so you could get updates on all these topics. We're going to be going into depth more and more on you know what does optimally living in the climate that we have with with the earth changes that are going on with the mini ice age that is approaching or the ice age might not even be many and with what's going on with the pole shift so for me this housing is perfect pole shift ice age practicality and it will not break the bank so i thank you guys as always and share subscribe thumbs up Look forward to your comments. Much love and light and wellness to you all. Take care, my friends.